Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video here on introducing water um, into in any internal combustion engine uh, to clean carbon deposits. Um, this typically just cleans carbon deposits from uh, the tops of the piston uh, and combustion chamber uh, and sometimes uh, you'll see a difference around the valves and, uh, on the bottom side of the valves in the combustion chamber. Um, why would you do this? Well, there's a lot of products on the market that claim that they will clean carbon deposits from combustion chamber. Um, the problem with some of these and, and the drawbacks of some of these is some of them can be expensive. Uh, if you've ever seen it done with, with a product um, like Seafoam, the, um, the tailpipe emissions are incredible. Um, it, it's just, I don't know, sometimes, you know, there's petroleum distillates, I don't know, they can, they, they can wash, you know, they can wash oil away from the cylinder walls if not done correctly, things like that. Um, Upsides are that they are multi-use. You can put them in the fuel tank. You can introduce them uh, through a vacuum line directly into the intake manifold. And you can even dump them in the crankcase if you've got something like a stuck lifter, um, something like that that's creating some top end valve train noise. Um, but what i found seems to work the best is introducing water into the intake manifold. Now this is basically hillbilly steam cleaning, uh, if you will. And it, it, it's been done for a very long time. Uh, there's some big believers in it. There's some guys that are very skeptical. Uh, I've done it on multiple things. I have some techniques that seem to work pretty well for me. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and run through those with you and leave it up to you as to whether you think that there is a benefit to this. Uh, if you think I'm crazy, leave it in the comments. Um, so what I do, my procedure is drive the vehicle. You, you, it is absolutely paramount that the vehicle be at normal operating temperature when you do this. Um, the goal that we are trying to achieve here is that you're heating the water as it's going in through the intake it's it will suck some latent heat out of the intake system and then once it ends up in the combustion chamber our goal is to turn that to steam and that steam is what removes carbon out of the chamber tops of the pistons etc uh, so engine must be at operating temperature the other thing is do not introduce water too fast. If you introduce it too fast, you run two risks. One is if you introduce it fast enough, you can actually hydrolock the motor. Uh, the other effect is that you will cool in cylinder temperatures far enough that what you're doing no longer becomes effective. Uh, so what I've done, this is a 2003 Volkswagen Jetta. I have warmed this engine up. I've taken it on a drive. Um, I'm using this in conjunction with another product, and that is seafoam, but the seafoam does not go in the intake system. The seafoam is in the tank, and I do that because the seafoam will clean the injectors and the back side of the intake valve is, is the goal. Uh, so this is warmed up. Um, you can do this on mass airflow sensor equipped vehicles. As you can see, this car is running, mass air flow sensor is unplugged. Now, a lot of vehicles do not, they don't like this, but they will run. Um, typically what I do is start the vehicle and come out and unplug the mass air flow sensor. At that point, if the vehicle continues to run, great. If it does not and it stalls, get back in and try to restart it. Obviously this will set a check engine light. Uh, so you will have to either uh, un unhook the battery um, for a while you know if you have a code scanner reset the code etc um, so once I do that you remove the air intake system in front of the throttle body now what I do is I take a spray bottle just like this filled with water 
Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much this holds. It, it might be maybe a pint. I'm really not sure. Um, I've tested it both ways on the stream and on uh, the mist. I seem to have the best results with a stream. But how I do this, I come in here and I will spray, and you'll actually hear this, I will spray water. Now you hear the water getting sucked past the throttle plate. That is what you want. That means it is being drawn into the intake system. Now I'll give it, you know, I don't know, 20 sprays, something like that, and then I'll back off. The reason that I do this is so that if I am cooling combustion temperatures far enough, it gives the motor a chance to get back, bring combustion yeah, I'm sorry, bring combustion chamber temperatures back up to normal. So I'll wait a few seconds here, and I will go ahead and I will spray it again. As you notice, as this is being done, no tailpipe emissions whatsoever. It, it's water. We're, we're not we're not creating this big plume of smoke that makes your neighbors wonder what in the hell is going on here. Um, that is one thing I like about this method. Okay, so we've waited a couple seconds. Go ahead and introduce more. Now I've found that this bottle seems to be a fairly reasonable size um, and I will usually use about three quarters of this bottle on, on your average automotive engine to do this. Um, so let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. I have seen some very, very, very compelling results using just water over other products on the market. Um, can it be dangerous? Yes, but um, you know, as far as introducing the petroleum distillate type of cleaners through the intake system, that can also have some potential problems as well. Uh, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and I will talk at you guys later.